In this video, we're gonna talk specifically about D2L content modules, how to create them, how to delete them, and how to set up nested modules, which are like a folder within a folder within a folder. Um, essentially, a folder is all a module is. It's a place where you can put content in the content area of D2L. One thing that's particular about the content area is that you have to have a module before you can add content. Now, the way that you add a module is very simple. You see this list here on the left that has the table of contents menu. This lists all the modules currently in the course, if you want to add a new module, you simply click in the Add a Module box and type the name of the module you want to add. For the sake of argument, I'll just call this one Module. And then when you're there, you can do all the kind of content manipulation that you would expect within D2L. Now one question that's come up a couple of times is how do you delete a module once you've created it? This isn't quite so obvious. If you want to delete a module, what you have to do is you have to click on the module here in the menu at the left, then you use this little drop down menu right here, and the very last option is delete module. And so that's how you delete a module that you've already created. Something else you might want to do with modules is reorganize them, put them in a different order. To do that, again, it's here with the D2L module list. You find the little triple hash mark icon just to the left of the module title and you hover your mouse over it so that it turns into arrows. When your mouse turns into arrows, then you can click and drag and you can click and drag the modules into any order you want. One other thing you can do once you've created the module, in addition to just switching the order, is you can put a module within another module. So this is helpful if you have like subunits or if you divide your course into weeks and then within each week you have different folders for the different kinds of items that you have in the week. At any rate, if you want to do that, you simply click and drag and hover the mouse so that it turns the module orange and then when I drop it in, now I can see that the sample module I just created is now a sub-module within the PowerPoint tests folder. The last thing I want to point out when it comes to module manipulation is all of the things that appear here right under the module title. This is where if I want to make changes to the visibility of the module or if I want to add dates or restrictions to the module, this is one way in which I can do it. Notice here it says this module is published, which means it's visible. If I want to hide it, I would simply choose draft and now the module is hidden from my students. If I want this module to only be visible for a certain time, I can click in the Add Dates and Restrictions area, and then I can add start dates, due dates, end dates, release conditions, etc. I can also add a description of this module, and this is a good way if you have content that you want to show up immediately when students click on the module so they don't have to click on an additional link. In this module description is a great place where you can have that text. So I'll just type module description text. So you can see where that goes. And now, this is what my students would see when they're looking at the module.